and welcome to a live story time with Miss Ferreira. Joining us again is my friend Eddie the Elephant and today's story we are both going on an adventure. Would you like to come too? Right, to make sure we're going to sit nicely to listen us to our story, we are going to start with our song. One, two, three. I wiggle my fingers and I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my ears and I wiggle my nose. Now there are no more wiggles in me. I can sit as quiet as can be. Today's story is called The Great Explorer. And our author's name is over here. It says Chris Judge. On our book cover, I can see somebody standing in the middle. He's dressed really warm. Look around him. Can you see some snow? I wonder where he's going. This is the spine of our book. And on the back cover, we can read the blurb to tell us a little bit more about the story. Let's see what it says. When a famous explorer goes missing in the North Pole, his son, Tom, decides he must find him. And so a daring adventure begins across the treacherous, icy terrain of the North Pole. I'm excited, are you? Let's begin. The Great Explorer. Tom's dad was a famous explorer. One morning when Tom went down to breakfast, he was shocked to see a picture of his dad on the front of the morning paper. His dad had got lost while exploring the North Pole. Tom resolved there and then to go and rescue him. First, he studied his globe of the world and found the North Pole. Then he bought a map so he could find his way there. He packed his bag and set off on his first adventure. He packed some food, a fishing rod, a sleeping bag, a saucepan, a cup, a tent, a compass, flares, matches, a pick, a torch and a pair of binoculars. Casting off, he set sail out into the big blue ocean. After sailing for many weeks, Tom knew he was close to the North Pole when gigantic icebergs appeared on the horizon. As he sailed on, he saw lots of beautiful shapes on the ice. It was the most magical place he had ever seen. But soon the ice got thicker and thicker until eventually the boat ran aground on the ice. Fortunately, Tom had a hot air balloon on board. He pumped it full of hot air and soon it was ready to take off. He unhitched the rope and up it went. As night fell, the spectacular northern lights lit up the sky. Tom was amazed. But the balloon sailed too high and was hit by a passing satellite. The balloon plummeted downwards. Ah, Tom screamed with fright. Luckily, 
he had a parachute with him. Quickly, he put it on and jumped out. Phew! That was a close shave, he thought, as the balloon crashed to the ground. But just at that moment, he landed on top of a very dangerous cliff. Undaunted, he sat on his coil of rope and slid all the way down. But just as he reached the bottom, he skidded into a giant walrus. Tom ran away as fast as he could until he reached a dangerous river of broken ice. So he jumped, hopped, skipped, bounded and leapt across the ice until he was safely on the other side. As Tom continued his journey, it started to snow heavily. The blizzard grew wilder still, so he decided to pitch his tent. But the wind was too strong and his tent blew away. Fortunately, he spotted a small cave. He crept inside and was just settling down to have a rest when a giant polar bear leapt out. Tom ran away as fast as he could. It was getting dark, so he decided to build an igloo to shelter in. He built a fire to cook his dinner and laid out his sleeping bag for the night. Tom rose early the next morning to find it had stopped snowing. He dug a hole in the ice to catch some fish for breakfast before setting out for the day. Finally, just as the sun was setting, Tom spotted a familiar tent on the horizon. Dad! he shouted as he ran as fast as he could towards it. His dad was so happy to see him. He had broken his foot when he fell from a cliff and had been unable to let his rescuers know where he was. Tom took a flare from his bag and signaled for help. Luckily, it was spotted by a rescue helicopter that was in the area and they were soon hoisted to safety. As they headed for home, Tom told his dad about the great adventures that he'd had on the way to rescue him. We will call you the great explorer from now on, said his dad proudly when they were safely home. I wonder where our next adventure will take us. What a fantastic adventure. I really enjoyed that. It made me think where I'd like to go on an adventure. So maybe you should have a think too. If you could go anywhere on an adventure, where would you like to go? Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon.